Well, Andrew, some rain in our forecast. We cannot forget those umbrellas and raincoats tomorrow. That's right. I hope you have yours nearby. Yes, I, I've got to bring it over, but uh, okay. <laughs> it's at home, but I will keep that in mind. All right. Yeah, we are going to see rain across the area, mainly into deep east Texas, which we'll see the heaviest amounts. Of course, we do need the rainfall out there, so let's take a look at what we can expect here with future casts. We'll see the clouds increasing tonight into your uh, Monday morning, especially into southern portions of the area. By around 8 o'clock, some showers will start to enter into the Houston Trinity County area, and we'll see the rain gradually spread across uh, at least south of Interstate 20 by 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see some darker greens and yellows indicating some heavier rainfall out there. Certainly will be moving through into deep east Texas, but as we head towards 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you can even see some more organized showers heading towards the Interstate 20 corridor. Some yellows and darker greens in there indicating some brief areas of moderate rainfall. By 7 o'clock in the evening, still tracking some rain showers, mainly south of Interstate 20, and then we'll be left with just a few showers overnight, Monday into Tuesday morning. Clouds will gradually decrease from north to south as we head throughout your day on Tuesday by 3 o'clock by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, still hanging on to some clouds in deep east Texas, but for the most part, uh, we are seeing the sunshine breaking through by Tuesday. In terms of rainfall amounts, we'll see about a half an inch into deep east Texas. Some spots could see upwards of one inch. As you can see, the further north you go across the area, those rain chances drop off pretty quickly. So if you're north of Interstate 20, you'll see barely any rainfall, uh, but certainly some showers will be possible. Now, due to the clouds and rain, temperatures will be widespread across the area in the upper 40s in deep east Texas, where there will be more clouds and rain, and then into the upper 50s along Interstate 30, where there will be less cloud cover and less rain, allowing it to be warmer the further north you go across the area. Either way, most of us are going to be below average for your day on Monday, so keep the heavier jackets handy. We'll see those temperatures over the next seven days staying mainly below average through Friday at least. By the weekend, we're climbing back into the lower 60s. For tonight, again, clouds will be increasing mainly in deep east Texas. With the increase in clouds in deep east Texas, we'll see temperatures drop down to the lower 40s. We're in the upper 30s elsewhere, although a few spots north of Interstate 20 may drop into the mid 30s and in some cases the low 30s out there. But I think most of us start above freezing for your day on Monday. We are going to see the rain showers on and off on Monday, and then we dry, we're dry for Tuesday, Wednesday, and then another cold front moves in on Thursday to bring a small chance of some showers. For DP Texas, the rain is more steady. We'll look at it. We're looking at an 80% chance of rain with highs in the upper 40s Monday afternoon. We'll see a chance for a lingering shower Tuesday morning, dry for Wednesday, another small rain chance on Thursday, and then we dry things out and warm things up as we head into next weekend.